Welcome to Jaybus Kicking. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Jay Bros Cooking. And today we are going to be making <laughs> stuffed peppers, right? John is still not with us, but he's here via cutout. Filling in for him is my youngest who wanted to help, and he's been looking forward to this all week long. This is Jeremiah. I like peppers, but I've never just been able to eat like a whole, I don't know, it's a lot of pepper. So we're gonna do two different things today. We're gonna stuff a pepper, and then we're also gonna make it, we used to call them rice balls. It's just pretty much a stuffing. My mom used to make it for us kids that wouldn't eat it. We're gonna get started with preheating the oven at 400 degrees. And that is, not sure what that is in Celsius. So now we're just gonna prep these peppers. Just gonna cut the tops off of them. And kind of clean them out. Jeremiah, do you enjoy eating peppers? Yes. Yes. All right, well, I guess we'll officially find out later on, huh? <laughs> okay. So we cleaned our peppers up, cut the tops off, got most of the seeds out, rinsed them off. Still and then you out. can just kind of, you just trim a little bit off so it's, the bottom's more even. This is the way my mom made it, so I'm just gonna follow her recipe. Keep all these little pieces of pepper here. We're gonna use those. Cut the onions. So we're gonna dice up this onion. So now I'm gonna get my burner on here, put it on a medium heat, and I'm gonna take my ground beef. This is two pounds, because it is a fattier meat, so it's gonna shrink down. Meat's really expensive now, so everything was wiped out. So I bought this one, I think it's 73.27, somewhere in there, so it does have a little bit more fat in it. I'm just gonna take these, throw them in my pan, get them ready to brown up. Get ready to brown up. I also have some little peppers here. These are sweet peppers. Bunny bubble. I'm just gonna clean these up. Bunny bubble. Do the same thing, take the seeds out. I'm just gonna chop these up real small. What I like to do is I like to take these and either blend them up or put them in a food processor. Make them so they're so chopped up or ground up that the kids don't even know they're there. If they don't wanna eat the pepper, they're kinda still getting some pepper. If that makes sense. You get a pepper. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add everything into the food processor and chop it down really good. I believe the kids will enjoy it more. I have the chopper. You got it, boss? Yes. Good job. I've never used it before. John has the nice one. How loud is it? Is it loud? All right, so I'm gonna put all these goodies in here. I want daddy to press it. See, it's not loud. Okay. All right, and then Jerry's gonna work the food processor here. Yeah. Got everything kind of ground up. It's apple juice. Gonna add a pinch of olive oil in there. Get it, Jerry. Jerry is going to pour in the granulated garlic. Good job, boss. And then we have Italian seasoning going in. We have salt and pepper. All right, there's our pepper mixture and onions all ground up. All right, Johnson, we're gonna add the rice now. Is that cool? Jerry's gonna help me dump this in here. The cooked rice going in. All right, so Jerry's gonna need to dump the tomato sauce right into here there you go most recipes um don't call for it but since this is my mom and my mom was italian she uh, always would add some sauce in before she put it on top so i'm gonna add about maybe half a can of tomato sauce get everything stirred up once again also if you have a really really fatty meat which i thought this was going to be fattier than it was you're going to want to drain some of the fat off. Take the peppers and set them in the pan here. All 
I am not a um, farmer or a green thumb or anything, but from what I understand, all peppers start as green, and then I don't know, I think they go to yellow. I'm not sure the exact order, but it's just the different stages of ripeness. If I'm wrong, correct me. I'm not trying to be like a know-it-all. All right, so now we're just going to start to start to stuff them. Job. It's all right. It's good. What do we do next, Jerry? There's a sauce on top. There's a sauce on top. Okay. All right. Then we're just going to cover it with tin foil. Just going to put some toothpicks to try and keep the tin foil directly off of it. So now we're going to take our stuffed peppers and put them in the oven at 400 degrees. Thirty-five to forty minutes. So now I'm going to take the rest of this mixture here. Usually, with what I have left over, I make uh, try and make a few. We call them rice balls, stuffed pepper balls. There's no pepper though, so taking another about a cup of rice. Just going to add it in here, just to kind of bind it up, make it a little thicker. All right. So this is the same concept. Just take a little tomato sauce, spread it around. Then you're just going to use something to shape it. This thing is about a cup. Pack it in there so it'll keep its shape. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of sauce. Jerry's gonna help me with that. Put it on top. On top of the rice? Yeah. There you go. All right, and then for these ones, I just usually sprinkle the cheese on right away since the other ones you're pretty much cooking to make sure the peppers kind of get cooked a little bit. And then we're just gonna add these right to the oven. Here we have our stuffed peppers and then our rice balls, which is just the filling of the stuffed peppers. Jeremiah, what do you want to try? You want to try pepper or the rice ball? The rice ball. I'm thinking the rice ball. It's like, what do you think? It tastes like Joseph's cheese pizza. Like Joseph's cheese pizza. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to try that when I'm done eating this. Get a little pepper with it here. I don't want to eat the pepper. Jerry doesn't want any pepper, he's telling me. Going in. Mmm. It's good. Very good. So the pepper is um, it's good. It's definitely not too soggy. It's just cooked enough the way I like it. Jerry's giving it two thumbs up. I give it a falcon. And the one with the pepper, even if you're not eating the pepper, the, the flavor from the pepper just comes in. The stuffing is so good. As always, we want to thank you for watching another episode of J Bros Cooking. And as we always say, what do we always say? It's always better when you make it yourself. Check out our website, jbroscooking.com. We have merch available on there. Like and subscribe. That was a like and describe from Jeremiah. We greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. John will be back shortly.